Now we're given some extra information. We're told that uh, we call this n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are these numbers right here. These are like the numbers of which iteration of this diagram we have. If we look at this, we're told that in n equals 1, they we're told the area is 2. Keep in mind they tell you the area is in centimeters squared. So if we're going to do this, um, maybe let's take a look at how to figure this out. If we have an area of some sort of shape, in general, if it's a quadrilateral like this, the area is always the width times the height, you know, or the base times the width. It depends how you want to do it. But in this case, it would be the rows times the columns. So do you notice this one here is two rows times one column? And look, two times one is two. The second one right here has three rows, two columns, so three times two is six, and so on. So you have uh, four times three, and so on. So here they want you to find what is it for the fifth one. Well, we can generalize, can't we? We can say that k, which is, you know, whatever your area is in general, it's always just, didn't I just say it was the rows times the columns? So if we really want to keep it generic, we can say k is equal to the number of rows times the number of columns, which in this case right here, we said p was 6, and we said q was 5. So that means 6 times 5 is just 30. That's how we solve this. So see what that's really telling us, that if you had 6 rows and times 5 columns, 6 times 5 would indeed be 30. 